mile so far on my new truck. So I figured uh, I would give it an oil change. I know it's not due till about 15,000 uh, per the owner's manual or 7,500 miles. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out. This is what I bought for it. I'm gonna show you what, what you need for the oil change. Very simple process, um, but here we go. So, um, 3 8 ratchet with a three inch extension. All right, because that's what the oil pan uh, takes in order to loosen up that bolt to drain the oil from the oil pan. And I'll show you that later uh, once we're under the truck. All right, something, um, now this is one type of oil, uh, oil filter ratchet. All right, and this will we'll be able to get into the wheel well and uh, loosen up that filter uh, and take it off from the wheel well. Uh, I also have a five gallon container under there and it fits perfectly. All right, and so here is the oil filter Mopar. It's only about 14 bucks. Um, I am gonna use the oil filter plug. All right, as you can see for the Cummins. All right, and I bought this off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and post the link below of where you can buy it. Very cheap. Um, Good reviews so I'm just gonna try it out and uh, see if I like it uh, but I'll go ahead and post the the link below uh, for you to check it out on your own uh, from Amazon I'm also using Cheryl Rotella T6 bought this off of Amazon gotta love Amazon Prime uh, I got three three gallons and so looking forward to um, replacing the oil and throwing this stuff in I'm not sure if it comes from the factory with T6 uh, but either way, I'm about to throw in some fresh oil for the truck um, about a thousand miles in. And so uh, to each their own, I want to do it and then um, do it again probably in six months. And stuff. Uh, you also need some towels. All right, so the truck is warm. It is level. All right, and so I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. All right, here's the oil pan. All right, very deep, very big oil pan. It has to be because it holds 15 quarts. All right. All right, and so this is that bolt that I was talking to you about. All right, and if you can see right in front of it is the differential. All right. And so you have that 3 8 drive ratchet. You have a 3-inch extension. You're pretty much going to, all right, throw it in. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. All right, I can't do this with one hand, especially move the bucket. All right, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Once I loosen it, push it in as I am um, pretty much loosening the bolt. And so that when the oil starts coming out, I'll tip it with the other hand. And so it'll all go into the five gallon bucket. All right, I am expecting some oil to get on the ground, um, but I don't care. I have this mat, super cool. Or you can do this in your, in your, on your grass if you want. All right, so that's step one. Uh, let me do that, and I'll come right back. All right, boom, check it out. All of it was drained. All right, about halfway up the five-gallon uh, bucket. All right, very simple. And then you just close it off, get that ready to turn it in, uh, or I guess go recycle it correctly. Um, but you just slid it out from under, and it comes comes out just like so very simple all right so after the oil was drained keep in mind it took about 10 minutes and you do want to have your oil relatively warm not super hot uh, but the process that I just showed you worked very well I didn't drip any oil as you can see on my mat super clean so I'm glad that worked out I do recommend you wearing a say just a a rubber glove something like this to give you a little more grip while you're pushing in the uh, the bolt and loosening it at the same time all right so next step all right we're gonna need this just for a cleaner removal of the filter all right and if you can see the filter right there so I'm on the passenger uh, front wheel well all right, and as you can see, there's the oil filter staring right at you. Okay, so what you're gonna do, go ahead, use these, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy again, and uh, you just wanna loosen it just enough for you to get your hand in there and, and um, loosen it the rest. All right, and then it's gonna sit down, just lower, about uh, half a foot down, and then you're gonna use that time 
to tighten this up. And then as you pull it out, the filter, all right, is, is gonna be pretty much sideways as you're pulling it out. So if it's straight, all right, you're gonna have to angle it sideways, which is why you need one of these. All right, and so because there's oil and it's a very large filter, all right, there's oil at the very bottom, it's enough uh, to pretty much uh, leak out. All right, and so this can be a very clean process if you have the right tools and the right equipment. Again, I'll post this, uh, the link for it. It was very cheap. Go ahead and up, hit it up on Amazon, Amazon Prime, two-day shipping. It's awesome. Can't go wrong. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do this step, and um, we'll go from there. I ended up not using these, right? I ended up using something a little longer. So same thing, except uh, it's, it's just a little longer to for you to get a little, little more leverage while you're in the wheel well. I also, I had one of these, uh, although it was a little difficult to uh, get the leverage that you needed in order to go ahead and tighten it down while, while twisting it off simultaneously. Um, so, I mean, you might be able to get it off with that. I found it easier using these. All right, and so uh, that's what I recommend. It worked easier for me. Uh, it'll probably work easier for you. Um, essentially, just screwed on. Uh, that that um, I don't even know what it's called. It, it's just a plug in order for the oil not to spill out while it's sideways. So it still needs to go a little more sideways, although at that point, it would be leaking on the ground, all right? And so that's what that small red plug does and um, allows you to take it out without making a huge mess, which is definitely wanted, all right? So let's take it out. Boom, here it is. Very inexpensive, solid product, has a good, good uh, seal to it. Um, and so if you're interested, I'll go ahead and post the link below um, where I bought it, uh, be the easiest way uh, to buy it. But essentially, boom, there, there it is. All right, so next step is getting the new oil filter on there. Same process, so what I'm gonna do is actually fill it up with that new oil about three-fourths up. Um, and the oil filter, put the plug on, um, exact same process push it in let it rest down it'll be like in here all right and then um, take the plug off and all I'm gonna do is pretty much lift it and then uh, righty tidy all right and that make sure you uh, clean up there all right with the towel so that um, it's just a clean uh, I guess you have a clean foundation for that oil filter to, to seal up properly um, although that's that's why you also put some oil on the small gasket for this filter. All right, so let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you the next step. Filter, I went ahead and uh, tightened it up. Uh, I believe once you hit the surface, um, you want to go ahead and do what is it, one and a half turns? I want to say it's either three and a, three and a quarter, or three fourths, or one and a half full turn once it actually meets that metal contact onto the uh, engine block. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pretty much fill up the engine i went ahead and made sure that every drip of oil uh, came out um, from the oil filter as well as uh, the engine block and all that takes is about 10 15 minutes of just letting it drip all right owner's manual says 15 quarts or three gallons what i'm using is a shell rotella t6 synthetic it's a heavy duty diesel engine oil from what i've researched this is good oil and i'm sure it'll do the truck uh, very well all right so um, yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and fill up the truck.
so just about done with this uh, third gallon of, of uh, oil going into the motor. Um, now what we did was halfway fill up the oil filter before screwing it on into the motor. All right, and what that, what that does is just alleviate uh, the oil pump pretty much pushing dry. Um, now another thing what we're going to do is actually, uh, once this is done, is actually get into the driver's seat and actually um, put insert the key, put it into the on position, and so it actually, the, the engine pretty much primes all the oil to circulate. All right, so some say you don't have to fill the oil filter before throwing it, throwing it on there. Um, and some say you do for the oil pump. I, I do both just because it's like I can, you know. So I fill it up halfway, about three-fourths the way. And then I'm also going to prime it about four times. And on the fifth time, I'm actually going to start the motor, turn it over, and uh, I should be good to go. All right, after that, uh, pretty much take it around the block. Um, and then turn off the motor, make sure it's on my flat ground, and actually check the, uh, the oil level, level in the truck. All right, it should be spot on, but that's where you want to make sure that your truck is not, um, not low on, on oil or not overfilled. All right, hopefully it's not overfilled. I did take the time to actually make sure every every drip of oil is um, out, of, out of the motor, all right? So that pretty much sums it up. If you got any questions, go ahead and let me know uh, below. Subscribe if you're not. Um, hopefully I'll have some more movies, videos coming out. Uh, but let me know what you want to see. All right, ciao.